Hello guys and welcome, it's that SLP2 dude. This is another episode of In The Mind. In this episode we talk about everything about positioning, what is a good position when you're using a long range weapon, and how to understand when you're not so much in a favorable position. If you guys do enjoy this video make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try and get 3000 likes again. Thank you very much guys and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, what's this composition looking like here? We got a heavy splatling, a slosher and a... And a splatter shot. They have three aggro weapons and a charger. Uh, so we gotta. I can play a little bit more aggro here since our heavy is probably gonna stay more back. So I'm gonna try and take that to my advantage. Um, try and kill this guy that's right here. He's waiting for me, so. Yep. You see, I didn't try to push that guy because there was no reason for me to. I have a lot of range to work with, so. And that Tetra has to always. In any case, they have to work work a way to break distance towards to get towards me. So I stood exactly I stood still and waited for them to come towards me instead. Uh, I can pretty much do that for everyone except that charger. Although I am gonna play a little bit more aggro here. Um, what's that called? Although I am gonna play more aggro here, I'm I'm still gonna st still stay within my range or as far as I can. Oh. This guy probably dies here. There's a Luna Blaster down there. Okay, perfect. We still score this. I'm holding this pretty, pretty well here. We just need to score it. There we go. Okay. We got the lead. I'm gonna throw that wall there just so they don't have any ideas to look at that left. They had a really good Zooka there, so it actually stops their entire push. If I was more aware of what specials were um, coming out, that would have been... I mean, that wouldn't... That probably wouldn't have happened. I probably moved would have moved away, but... It's okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna chill right here since we have to just work on defending and not letting them get towards the Rainmaker thing, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop that, so I just just chilled for a second. It is just the spider shot. It seems like he's in the bottom left. Actually, no, he's moved. He's moved all the way back. Luna could blast the kid stealth jump. Oh, there's Tetris. Dig him. Do I have one more shot? I do have one more shot. Cool. Alright. So... Platform's broken. There we go. That's a great uh, triple link strike right there. Oh, hello, Charger. There we go. All right. Got to kill this Tetra here. There we go. Hit him with a close range. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Nah, I got stuck in the ink. But we are in a good position to hold this, actually. My, my team is kind of pushing up. We might be able to get one more. There we go. Perfect. Um, there was one guy that's just chilling on a ray. He is not what I want to face. War rollout. I did parry a, a hit. Which is alright, but I didn't manage to survive that, unfortunately. But we got this pretty- we, we got mid control still, so this is really good. Uh, as long as we don't die and like not let, let them go past, it's gonna be fine. Right, there we go. Um, I'm actually gonna do something different. Maybe go up in the right here? I don't really feel safe uh, doing anything right now. I just wanna like attempt to wipe them again. Or get more than one person out, because I, I couldn't... There was no way I could stay on the right side and, like, pop the Raymaker myself and expect that we could have, uh, got something going there. Unfortunately, like, after all that, I still died, which, uh, not ideal, of course, but... Uh, if I hit that second guy and killed him, it would have been fine. Um, I'm gonna try and build an Ink uh, Zooka here to try and stop this push. They might get the lead. Okay, cool. There's a spider shot here. He is one shot. They both fell? They did both just fall. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Dang it. Oh, I died to a bomb! <laughs> I didn't even see it. It must have been behind me, dude. We need to really push this. Oh, they, they might take- they're gonna take a lead off this. But we need to really push this Rainmaker out of here. Oh, okay, perfect. To be very honest, a lead on 20- uh, on this map is never safe. Whether it be 24 or- it is what it is, really. As you saw from the last game, Okay. Zipcaster. There's a guy, another guy right here as well. There we go. Last one's a charger here. There we go. That's a quad. All right, we're going to start moving up. I'm going to try and start moving up. One guy's on the right there. Hmm. He's going to try and run his way. You better try and kill that guy, though. That guy tried to bomb me from the back. Did not appreciate that. My friends, we have got to stop pushing, my friends. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, that's unfortunate. 
I needed to make sure there was more ink around me before I even zookered. Yeah, we have we have become very very split here. It's all right. It was a good it was a good attempt. I think we I mean we still got time, we, but we have got to really. Oh yeah, they're gonna take it away on left. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, they actually dropped it in the middle, but I mean I guess they could do that too. Dang, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's still an overtime. I mean, maybe we have to pop like now or try and pop it in our color. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. There we go. I'm actually gonna. Oh, okay, I was gonna try and pick it up. All right. Never mind. <laughs> I think our problem is that we kind of split up a whole lot. Like we split up a lot, a lot during that. It could have gone. In it could have been a lot better in a lot of different ways. Like I feel like overall, I positioned myself as well as I could. There was like a couple of situations where like I still uh, got caught, but. Right, let's see what's going on here, guys. Right, so we have... Alright, I can play aggro here. The only thing is that... Okay, that longest range weapon is that goo tuba. Alright. I think I need to... I, I have to position myself in a way where I, I'm never close to the Octobrush and the splash o uh, does, But the splash o probably will try to build that crab tank more than usual, so... This guy is one shot. He's Moving. Oh, hello, Gutuba. There we go. There's one free jump here. Just gonna make sure I get there. He's one shot. There we go. All right, the last one's a pro. We can push this straight away. Man advantage. Everyone's gonna come off their spawn here. So, uh, if anybody's got any clamps, so there's two clamps to that guy there. I'm gonna hold this right side so this whole right is just basically covered here. Um, we do have that guy right in the right here. He might drop on me. Yep. Back it up. I actually got him with the one shot there. Uh, I'm gonna just toss some clams in, in the middle so one of my teammates can go ahead and pick that up. One thing I learned in Clam Blitz, especially in this game, is make sure, like, if you're one one guy that's like, like, if you if your teammates have full control of their of the um of the basket and you're just kind of a stroll like a str like a strolling guy, don't feel like you have to like pick up your clams and uh, like always have to walk all the way towards the basket. Just like throw your clams towards like I guess around this area. Or where the basket is positioned, wherever it is. Just let your teammates do it, if they do do it. At least from what I've seen, I see a lot- I, I do see a lot of teammates really try to- Try to get a lot of clams in once, uh, try to throw in the clams that you throw in, Joe. You know, sometimes they might do it, sometimes they might not do it, you know. Alright, so we need to break this situation. This guy is zip casting. I'm not gonna get anywhere close to him. I'm just let him have his space. There we go. There's like three guys here. Perfect. Alright, the Gutu's last one. Perfect. Alright, we got mid control straight away. All of us are here. That's perfect. I might actually try and zuka this, actually. They're gonna drop early. Actually, no, I didn't have time for that. Never mind. There was one guy on the top left. Take him out. Perfect. There are two. Well, one is in the back. We're looking for the Splash Up Pro. Shouldn't be too much, of a, too much of an issue. I just don't know exactly where he is. The Gutu is right there. The rest of them are gonna stop spawning in, though, so. I hit one of them. Splash of Medic is there. That's the pro as well. Okay, I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Just take some, get some space for myself. That Splash of Medic is so weak. Guy in the middle. There we go. Get one. In. There's another one around there, right? Just shoot a shot there, just in case there's another guy coming on left on my left here. There we go. Now the bush is gonna go to the snipe or towards the snipe around it. The HUD is a little bit in the way, so I can see that. All right, we do. We cannot retrieve that ball. We're not. We're not, we're not even gonna try and attempt that. Just try and get some jumps for my teammates. This guy's gonna come up right here, isn't he? Gonna attempt to. Come on, do it. Okay, my teammates got him. Perfect. He's gonna jump out. No. There we go. YouTube are dead. We should just go try and get that guy with the ball out. It's the splash of medic since I just killed the, uh, just still somebody. Shoot him on top of the head. There we go. Perfect. I do have two clams. We have a lot of the map painted, but we don't have, like, any visual, like, any clams here. There we go. Alright, they're pretty much being rushed in the side. Just one guy in snipe. Octobrush. Gutuba. E. Alright, we're looking for the pro. He's the last one. Okay, I see him. I do have potential two clams. It makes us all... Okay, I didn't want to throw pick up two, that many right now, but... Is that... There's two guys right there. There's one more. Okay, the Gutuba shouldn't be able to challenge me here. These guys should tell them. Take him out. Alright, I'm gonna anchor here. And hopefully my teammates either throw clams towards me, or they come and throw clams themselves, but all you have to do is just anchor and just let my teammates do the job. 
probably push up a little ahead. Keep it a little interesting. Keep that guy pushed back a little bit. Alright, push back. If you notice how many times I, like, I guess the times I push back. When I notice that there's like at least like two or three people coming out of spawn, I don't like stay exactly where I'm at. I'm always moving backwards just to make sure that I'm always in a, a solid position to get the most out of my range. It's a big, big rule of thumb when I'm playing with uh, any sort of long range weapon, because if you can get the most out of your range, you're most likely doing a good job. You're most likely in a really good position. If you're not, or you're having to face people closer than you or closer up to you, like really close range, you're probably not in a good position because you're in a position that where you're placed more vulnerable, you know. We have a stamper this time. Our paint coverage is gonna suck. <laughs> so we're gonna be very frag heavy. I'm probably gonna have to play a lot slower during this game. Since I do have a squeezer, it's like, it's weird to say that I have like the, uh, the best painting weapon right now. Um, but I'll try and focus a little bit more on painting just so that uh, my my teammates actually have like can actually walk around and all that. Uh, we've cut a lot on the we basically cut them both, cut them out here. So everyone's just in this one here. So oh, good situation there. One's gonna come off spawn. Did not forget about him. Is it a Tetra? Oh no, it's the Dapples. All right, cool. We're chilling. All right, I'm just gonna try and keep these guys here. There you go. There we go. There's one up there as well. Oh, they're trying to get me, dude. Alright. Okay, that was a splatter shot there. Under the basket. I can see him. He's out of ink as well. He's out of ink. Right in front of me. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm not in a good position to even fight that, so there's... there's I'd rather just back up. There we go. Decent. If you drop, you die. Okay, never mind. Kills my teammate instead. I'm gonna act as a bait using this bull. There we go. There's another one here, though. Splash shot there. Perfect. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I heard the hit, so I was just like, okay. we. There's one still here. And, um... I, there was a lot more to do. All right. Stay within my range here. It's up top. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Last one's a splash shot again. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna go pick up this these columns here. Left side needs to be paid a little bit. There's one guy coming to the left though. Probably help my teammate here. There we go. One thing I guess like if you notice, especially when you check the map, is if you notice like one one of your teammates is about to come into a fight and you're in like a, a solid spot with your weapon to uh, actually try and help out. Yeah, just try and just try and go help them. You know, go help them. Because usually most of the time, uh that enemy teammate is going to be, or well, that oppo your opponent is going to be more focused on your, your your teammate first. So usually if you are using your teammate as like a, it's kind of like a, it's low key, it's like a low key bait. Where like you just allow your team, it's like you allow your teammate to be baited and then you kind of just finish off the job. Just had to wait there since that guy didn't know exactly where I was. But yeah, that's just a thing that you can do. Using Zukajir just to keep them pressured in. Um, there's one more on... There's two on that platform now, so... We're, we're doing a really good job of, like, pinching. We're, like, coming at them from, like, two two angles, so they have, like, a whole lot more to fight. Alright. Another situation there, using your teammate as bait. I mean, the, my, my teammate basically called out to me, like, Oh, there's someone on me, so... We can, uh, we can basically just fight that one together. I can't push that. I can't position myself with that one, so I'm pushing back. Another one. Yeah, just move back. Just move back all the way. Rather be safe. I could have just, like, played Die Hard and just, uh, went to throw my clams in, but that's just not worth it. And since, like, we've been doing such a good job of, like, keeping control, I just rather just, like, make sure my life is, uh, preserved and all that. Uh, there's a guy on top left here. Okay, he's gonna come towards down. He's one shot here. There we go. Alright, we have to go, f we have to look at this guy. But I'm gonna, w I'm gonna just wait here. Yeah, watch the cross, because more of their team can actually still come up from the spawn here. Alright, cool. Lock them in, once again. I can score that. Just want to make sure I'm safe, because I didn't have a feeling there was someone there still, but... Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a very, very solid game. We, we positioned ourselves where we needed to. We uh, didn't, like, 
be stupid, throw our lives away, and just like just roll like a a few points. Like you know, we we made sure that we held control, and that's a very very important thing in this game. Like as long as you can like if you have really good with a team just holding like holding down control and just like keeping the enemy team in just one spot, it's uh it does a, it does a lot. It does a whole lot, as you see in that one. Right. Okay. So they have is that a carbon roller? Okay. So they have. The only ranged weapon that I have to really deal with is the that dually sculpture, and they're gonna have a they're gonna have a really good time of uh, in terms of just like having decent movement here. My teammates watching the top there. We've got two guys on the left. Uh, dually sculpture is weak. Perfect. Trying to help my rapid friend. Just keep making sure the left is not. There is a teammate. Yeah, I had a feeling there was another guy right there. Just making sure my rapid's safe here. I think there's one on the right. I think there's one on the right, dude. I'm paranoid. You fighting someone? No, you're not fighting someone. Okay, I don't see anything. I think I see at least three. There's one going here. I'm not gonna push that just yet. I'm just can chill where I'm at. We take the carbon out. I can take this guy out. No, I messed up movement. All right, pull it off. Oh my god, that bomb almost killed me. I'm literally dead here, unfortunately. Unlucky. Alright. Good stop, though. We take the other one, go. We're okay, cool. Alright, perfect. They might still score, but it's gonna be fine. I mean, if we can take out that one more, then that's great. Um, Junior is... They shouldn't have stayed in the middle. They just died for free. I thought they, they, they would have backed up from that since they were the last person up, but... Um, they didn't, so that's a free kill. Not my greatest wall. Backing up. Too much... Too pressured there. Didn't want to fight again. Uh, I'm going to try and take control of right here. Zuka. That Zuka did not work how I wanted it to, but... Uh, carbon's right there. there perfect. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to have a lot of clams here. The Tetra is going to be really fast in this. Well, that fast person up. Okay. Uh, okay. That wall actually works. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Gonna try and paint for my teammate there. There we go. Can see him coming in. Um, I can't stay. I can't stay in that this position here without being completely rushed. So I need to be. Yeah, I need to be more. I need to back up here. Back up like here. That guy is. Running. Oh, I didn't have the swim speed for that. I'm only running one sub swim speed, so I can't swim fast enough to get out of there. Um, unfortunate. All right. Let's see if we can. Okay, I'm the last one alive. They do have a carbon roller, so I'm just... I don't know if they have ninja squid or not, so... He's backed up. It's just that junior, though. Okay, cool. There we go, Tetra dead. You notice, it's like... Even though I was in a really... Not a great spot to fight that... Uh, whenever I am, like, if someone's close up, I'm always walking backwards. So, it's actually a, t a tip, at least for... That an old teammate of mine, uh, I guess, taught me or told me uh, back in like Splatoon 1 is that whenever you're using a long range weapon, whenever you can, just like whenever you get yourself into a fight or nothing, well, literally every fight, just walk backwards, you know? Because a lot of the time you might actually dodge shots just by walking backwards or things that are trying to reach you, it's going to be a lot harder for them to reach you, you know? That guy's so weak. My teammate's got him though. 100%. Perfect. Alright, uh, we got a lot of control, we're looking for the carbon, and we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of pain on the floor, so this is actually great. Um, I kind of want to anchor here, but I think my teammates have got this, uh, pretty much covered, so I'm gonna just throw the one clam, just to... Actually, I'm just gonna throw clams on the, the thing, just to keep it thing. Actually, I don't think it's, uh, possible anymore. Unlucky, unfortunate. It's just a carbon again. Carbon, it's right here. Oh. I did see him, I did see him in the end, there. Okay. Pain on the right, so they didn't have the, the, the thought of going to the other side. But I do, I do want to kill that carbon. Once again. Okay. Gotta be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna all the way around. We did kill the carbon. Perfect. They still don't... Oh, God. Alright. I'm in, like, a horrible spot. Alright. I'm gonna try and position myself here. Try and get Azuka. Maybe get a cheeky kill here, dude. There's one on the top left. What? 
Oh, I didn't kill him, dude. <laughs> I thought I hit him so directly there, dude. Alright, this is gonna be good stop. They're gonna get a lot of clams in, though. Oh, uh, yeah, they're gonna get a lot of clams in. That bubble's basically tarnished it. Oh, alright. My mistake. My mistake. I overextended like crazy. I overextended like crazy and I got very, very lost. Probably would have. What would have been better is if I just jumped out. If I jumped out completely. Um. Then I would have been able to actually help defend the team. But, as you can see, I was literally nowhere to be found. And yeah, there's no time to actually get towards the, uh, the other side of the map. Why was my Zuka shot? <laughs> Where was my Zuka shot? Oh my god. I tried to get fortunate and, like, try to hit one that was... Like, I tried to flank with my Zuka. Which, uh, it straight up just didn't work. That's unfortunate, man. That was that because we would have, we would have won that game if we just had to, if we just actually focused on defense more. But we didn't focus on defense at all. Which, uh, oh no, it's Dirty Dan. All right, they have basically. I don't have to play close to anything. I can just play far back, and then the squid, the the squiff is the only thing I gotta worry about. Um, they have a pretty. I mean, if we kill fifty two and splatter shot. We we basically win the game. So. They're only a, like I mean the the ends up can be fairly aggressive too, but once the once these two weapons go down, it's gonna be really hard for like them to actually fight. So, uh, Squiff, there we go. This guy's just gonna drop or go under the basket. He's lagging a little bit actually. There we go, perfect. Zuka. I think I zuka them a little early there, so they didn't just die straight away. Uh, I'm gonna throw two clams. Gonna try and find some clams for my teammates here. Toss them up. There we go, if you can. We're actually really keeping them in. I'm actually gonna toss these ones in, though. There we go. I'm gonna go back and try and find some more. Okay, no one's on the- no one of my team's on the- on the thing now anymore, so... Alright, perfect. Solid push at the start. I'm gonna wait right here, since I don't expect anyone to know until that happens. <laughs> Very unfortunate. They actually they tagged that, where I was shocking. So I get I die instantly there. Uh, there is one on the map on the left, so so I can kind of basically prepare myself for this one. He's one sure. Squiff is now watching me. Just want to make sure that I stay alive. The Squiff is moving back, so that's perfect. So now we got all this control. Oh, there's two guys here, but I'm pushing back. I am not in a good spot, so you continue to fight that. I instantly. You have to really make sure, like, uh, you, you stay checked to that because that's how you stay alive in, like, a lot of situations. Like, how you can stay alive in a lot of situations. Like, even with this one, I don't, I don't keep myself close to this guy. I move back, uh, so that I can actually fight him, uh, in a better spot. And also knowing since what weapon it is, like, knowing how the weapon is too is, uh, can be really important. I use the Zuka just to maybe pick him off. But I didn't predict them right. Maybe... nope. Alright, I can take control of top left here. Hopefully no one saw that. Goes, goes to me. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Squiffer now. He uh, didn't get the shot on me. I hit all three of my shots though, so that's perfect. I'm in such a bad spot. Alright. I'm just gonna get my clams in. Go back towards him. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go back towards him to confuse him, but uh, it didn't work in my favor, though. Alright, um, you kill that. Perfect, I'm gonna stealth jump to you. I know everybody else on the other team is, like, pushed back, so I could just easily stealth jump. This guy's just standing right there. Alright, fine, thanks for the kill. <laughs> I think the Scriffle thought he was in the ink, but then he wasn't, so... Alright, we got full control here. My teammate should kill that. Undoubtedly. There we go. Cool. Just making sure I was, uh, just not on the side of the wall where that guy could throw a bomb at me, because if they threw the bomb at my splash wall, I would instantly die. We missed the power clam, unfortunately. It is what it is sometimes, but... There we go. I did get a... I mean, that's the... That's a clear example for why you don't get close to people. Uh, if you're using a long-range weapon, and, uh, you get into the range of the other team, or team, or, I guess, opponent, that can that can happen. 
If I was positioned them just a little bit further back where I could get more of them my range, I probably would have won that fight. Uh, but because I was closer than I was normally, even though I still won the- well, traded with them, uh, that's what you want to avoid, you know? You don't want to have to trade. You want to- ideally, in an ideal world, you want to be able to get out of every fight of you becoming victorious and, uh, uh, you coming away, uh, not traded, you know, so. Obviously, as players get better, it might actually get become a little harder to get those picks, but, you know, if you work as a team, uh, it's a lot easier to actually get that going, so. Um, yeah, we're just chilling here, actually. This guy's gonna come close to me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the assumption he comes close to me, but he actually didn't, so. Uh, but, hopefully, since, I feel like they've cleared us. They're not really doing much. My teammates should be able to be fine here. Uh, we have lost two guys, so... Okay, alright. This is a scenario here. It's double defense here. That's the last guy there. Cool. He's got drop roll. I'll kill his friend instead. Cool. I wanted to just hold that left side. Just in case the situation of somebody coming to the left. Because we had our right side completely clear. Like, I didn't want to have to go all the way to the right and flood it and then lose control of the left and basically get that all up, so... 